What is a cafe racer? And what is its purpose? Essentially, it is a motorcycle which was transformed with only one purpose. To be lighter, more powerful, and faster. Does this make any sense to you? From my perspective, no. Not really. Are you shocked by what I just said? Don't worry. Because I am going to explain everything, in the next minutes. It will be more like an exercise of thinking, which is always the right path, to discover not only what we really want, but also what we really need. Welcome to Racer TV. So, let's go back to the point. Many people say that a true cafe racer machine has to be light, powerful and fast. These are the original main goals of a cafe racer, which lead me to one question. Is this a cafe racer? Obviously no. It is a sport bike. But it should be. All the original principles are here. Right? Well, let me explain the contradiction. Sport bikes are the straight descendants of the original cafe racers from the late 50s and 60s. And the appearance of sport bikes in the market is the main responsible for the disappearance of cafe racers. They simply became obsolete. But now there is a rebirth. And the right question is, how can we evolve something that is already obsolete? I have read some comments on my videos criticizing that most of the cafe racer projects are merely an exercise of style. And so I have to ask, what is the problem with that? I will have to say the same about this kind of tires. Yes, they are not the best tires to lean when cornering. But they definitely look good on most retro projects. From my perspective, Nowadays it doesn't make sense trying to improve performance from an old motorcycle. Especially because it is very easy to get a much more powerful and modern motorcycle. So, which one is the right approach for a cafe racer project? And my answer is, there isn't any. All approaches are a personal choice. Each one of us has a different need or a different purpose. And this is the beauty of all of this. The definition of a cafe racer motorcycle has to be suitable to each one. Everyone is free to decide if he wants something more stylish or something more purest. But don't get me wrong. I am not against cafe racer purists. What I don't like, is to hear criticism, that only light and powerful motorcycles, are the real cafe racers. But if high speeds are important, it is possible to choose something more modern, and still get some classic stance. To be honest, I think cafe racers will always be evolving. The real issue, is to avoid any evolution that can lead a project to something near to a sport motorcycle. No one has to follow the original principles of cafe racers. It is more a question of adaptation to the present needs. And if a project is based on just the aesthetic perspective, so be it. Some prefer scramblers, bobbers, trackers, cafe racers, and several others. What is important to say, 
is that we are all a big community, sharing a passion for custom motorcycles. Thank you for watching Racer TV. And as always, I hope to see you next week.